is to say that I bequeed all monies to my credit at the Hudson National Bank in the amount of $50,000, together with all personal property in the safe deposit boxes at the Hudson National Bank, which consist of house and lot and furnishings and personal effects pertaining to house and grounds, to my only daughter, Ruth Elton, and sole heir. In the event that my sole heir, Ruth, should meet with death in the meantime, then the above I bequeath to my only brother, Robert Elton. In loving memory, I hereby provide that he be sheltered and suitably provided for in our family home until his death. This home to be maintained until such time. To my faithful servant, Emma Krogh, I hereby bequeath the sum of $50 monthly to be paid out of my estate. This sum to continue without recourse until her death. I hereby appoint William Wilkes as executor of my will to act without bond. Witness my hand this the 22nd day of April, 1925. Philip Elton. I'm very grateful to your father, Miss Rose. Philip was always thoughtful and just. I'm very happy. My wishes are realized in spreading the remaining years. Have they finished? Yes, sir. Thank you. It ain't fair. It ain't fair, not a penny. And we have been still for so long. And now we get scraps thrown at us by strangers. It wasn't him. He was a good man. Huh, now she comes back. Now there's money to be had. And we who have stayed and worked get nothing. Wait. Wait. Someday. I've waited long enough. I'm going to speak. And if you do, I'll swear that you are mad. Now carry him upstairs. Ready to go upstairs now? Yes. It's been a trying day. I think I had better retire. You also, Ruth. I'm coming with you, Uncle. Coming, Ted? No, if you don't mind, I think I'll stay here and chat with Mr. Wilk. All right. Good night, Mr. Wilk. Good night, Miss Ruth. <laughs> That yoga man sure is mad about something. If he's going to yodel all night, ain't nobody going to sleep. Hans, I will go through my brother's room. I have had my bed moved to the room next to his, so we could spend these last few hours together. Go to my room, dear. Yes, Uncle. If I only had a daughter now to be always near me. I, I shall always want to be near you, Uncle. You are so much like Daddy that it will keep his memory fresh and dear to me. You are now a wealthy girl, Ruth, and you must make the most of it. Wealth to youth is golden, but to age it is a milestone. I love you, dear. Good night. Good night. Hey. 
hypocrite. Damned old hypocrite. Why don't you tell her you hate her? Why don't you tell her you want the money more than she does? You're all liars. A remarkable woman, Mrs. Krug. She's been here for nearly 20 years. Her devotion to the brothers was almost her religion. And, uh, Ham, is he her son? Yes. He was a baby when he came here. I believe she comes of a very good family. But she gave up everything to come to America. Mm -hmm. They're Germans, aren't they? Yes. So are the Eltons. I think there's some sort of a distant relationship. There's a large fortune involved, isn't there? Mm, considerable. Enough to almost burden a young woman like Ruth. I believe she understood the provision of the will. The estate is hers unconditionally. Her father intimated as much. Well, fortunately, there are no other direct heirs. You know, wills are always open to contests, Doctor. Yes. And a large fortune is always a temptation, Mr. Wilkes. Yes, Doctor. Well, shall we retire? Well, if you don't mind, I think I'll stay here and smoke a cigar. Good night. Good night, Doctor. <laughs> 